Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a very, very special cash envelope stuffing. Sorry, I just got off work and it's 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 been rough. It's been super rough. I wanted to do this a little bit differently just because I know that I was like kind of getting into a rut at the end of last year and then I didn't even do February sorry February December hello can you tell that I'm tired <laughs> so that being said I am parked at Wawa right now and I thought I would not only do cash envelope stuffing with you guys but also that I would share my goals for this year and you know trying to get back into the mindset of like saving and all that kind of stuff and I kind of want to touch on some of those points with you guys as well so first things first I have saved as of right now about $1,800 in my emergency fund. And that's my emergency fund that I keep in my accounts. And basically I, let's see, it was a combination of like tax return and then also like birthday and Christmas money that I got from my parents and my grandparents. So yeah, very, very happy about that. And the goal is not to touch that, but I do have to get my tires done. Like I, I need new tires on my car. I also need to get all of my brakes done. So I really do not want to tap into any of that. But because, you know, it is for emergencies. But the original thought process was that I would use it most likely for both of those things. So I did pay off my cat's vet bill. So... I mean, they did give me like a deadline of December of 2023 to have it paid off, but I did pay off the whole thing. So I no longer have to devote like 400 whatever dollars towards that every month. So automatically that's, you know, like 400 bucks that I can be putting towards other things. So I'm super excited about that. So, yeah, I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of an idea as to, like, what's been happening. Now, if you have seen any of my previous videos, or if you watch any of the recent ones, I say recent, but it was, like, November, I did have a cash emergency fund that I was saving up, and I had about 300 bucks in there. I spent all of it. It went to a good cause because, and I say that because I went and I drove home to Houston with both of my cats and I got to spend like a week and a half, a week, whatever it was with both my mom and my brother. And I have not been able to do that for like, like it's been two years. So I don't really care that I spent that money going there and coming back because it was, you know, to be with family. It was really great, you know, had a really good time. The only thing that my brother and I did was we made food, we ate, and we watched TV. And those are basically like our favorite things. So we don't really care. We're not boring, but you know, we just, we're usually tired. So I literally am not mad that I spent that money the way that I did. Now, that being said, one of my biggest goals for this year is to be more cognizant of the way that I spend my money. I've gotten better about this over the years. However, I still tend to splurge in certain areas. Now, because I work such shitty hours... I don't wear makeup anymore. So that's a win for me because I'm just saving money on that at this point. 
Is this subject to change? Yes, because I do plan on getting a new job and hopefully I will have better hours so I will be able to, you know, look like a human again, but we'll see. Another thing is I would really, really love to have more in savings. And I'm not talking about an emergency fund. I'm talking about actual savings. Like, I'm going to start small with just a grand, but I would love to have more than that. I really would like to limit my spending when it comes to stuff like food because I am very terrible with that. I have a bad tendency to buy groceries and, you know, I'll make whatever food with that, but I'll buy groceries and then towards the end of the week, I get tired and I start coming to Wawa and I like to go to Chick-fil-A, okay? I don't, don't crucify me for that, but food is like the one thing that unfortunately I have used as an emotional crutch over the years and, you know, not to get too much into other stuff, it has really been a touchy subject for me. So I would like to limit my spending with that, but also make sure that I'm able to, you know, still like grab a bagel if I want to from Dunkin' or, you know, get a coffee every once in a while from Wawa. I just don't want it to be like an every week thing. Um, I would also like to finish one challenge for an entire year. So I started doing cash-based budgeting, I believe it was like 2018, 2019, around there. And every single year, I would never finish a challenge. So I don't want to get too crazy. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to save like $4,000 a month because I don't even make that much. Um, <laughs> but like, I don't make enough to the point where I would be able to save that. But I would like to just finish one challenge for an entire year. So that being said, I am going to do the $1 challenge. Not because it's easy, but because it's doable. It's manageable with everything that I have going on. I know that that is something I can at least work on. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. The last thing is I need to use HSA for buying supplements. I am very bad at this. There's a lot of people who are. And a lot of it is probably because I just never allocated a lot towards it. So, yeah, I would really like to use my HSA to, you know, the best of my ability. Also, side note, I did get a library card because if you have a library card, you can use different kinds of apps and you can also use this app. It's called Canopy spelled with a K and basically your local library will give you a certain number of credits that you can use to watch like TV and movies every month. And I'm like, well, I pay for the library with taxes. So this is like my return on investment. Also, you know, they have a thing. There's another app where you can like read books through it or get audio books and stuff like that. So, you know, that uh, I think that would be better than using stuff like Audible because personally, uh, with all the changes that Amazon has made, in the last few months. Yeah, fuck them. But anyways, I am going to count this out. I am in a parking lot, so I am going to make sure that there's nobody parking near me. So I have, I'm going to make sure people aren't watching because, you know, I have so much cash. Yeah. I, yeah. Woo. No, I, what? I'm going to get robbed for like 120 bucks. Yeah. Okay. You never know though. It could happen. So Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's 120 right there. And then I have all of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now, the reason why I have all these ones is actually because they have a rewards program where I work and it's, it's really not a reward, but, uh, basically it's like you can, you get nominated for stuff and you can use the points to buy things. And I always like to cash out. So that's why I have a little bit of extra cash, which I'm going to be using for groceries this week. I actually still have chicken left over from last week. I just froze it, put them into individual bags, and then I am just going to use that. So I thankfully do not have to buy chicken, but you know, I do want to give myself a buffer, like I said before. So I have what is it? 146 total. And I am spending all of this this week. So that being said, all the ones are going to go right into my food. You can see it right there. Food envelope. And I don't have anything left over from traveling or yeah, I don't have anything left over. So kind of sucks, but it'd be like that. Okay, and then I'm going to do 50. Yeah, 50. So two, and then I'll do three tens. 20, 30, 40, 50. Right there. It's going to go in there as well. So basically, I'm working with 76 total for my food budget this week. And then gas is going to get 50. So 20, 30, 40, 50. Actually, <laughs> that's why I'm at Wawa right now because I need to get gas. And then I'll be set for the rest of the week. I'm trying to get a, a new job. I think I told you guys that. And it's looking like I might have to commute like an hour away if I get the job. So that could be extremely problematic. But the upside is that I would make 20K more than I do now. So I can't really be feeling that bad about it. Okay, the last thing I need is litter for my cats. I use pine pellets, as I've told you guys plenty of times. So I have 20 bucks devoted towards that and come on bro get in there so i actually am gonna pick that up i'm gonna do all my errands minus picking up prescriptions in like one fell swoop so it's nice because i can just get gas from wawa and then tractor supply co is right down the road and then i can go from there and go to walmart so Everything is just whoop in one fell swoop. But anyways, I wanted to make this video a little bit different. And I am going to bring back my iPad because I had a lot of fun with that. I think another thing I'm going to bring back is one or two sinking funds. Just because those are a lot of fun as well. And... It kind of pisses me off to be like, oh, like here, let me put $2 in this envelope. Let me put, you know, $4 in that envelope. And, you know, at the end of the day, like every little bit helps. But I was just, I was driving myself nuts doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll see what happens. I will definitely update you guys. But anyways, I hope you all have had great holidays. Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, belated. 
And I hope you're all having a great new year. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.